Right, we got delighted in Sully after a fantastic 2-0 two two away victory in the FA Cup to Seven Oaks Town. Before I go on your thoughts regarding this, can you give us a little bit of an update? Because it felt like we were missing a few people for whatever reasons they are. If you can give us a little bit of an update, who was missing from today and who's likely to be coming back from next week? Yeah, we had uh, Kane uh, has got a suspected um, a broken rib, uh, but uh, I think um, I think he'd be okay for next weekend for the the, the two games over the weekend. Uh, obviously, Oli put, pulled up a little bit early with his hamstring. Um, again, it was a, it hasn't gone, but it's just a bit uh, precautionary. Uh, Cavs come flying back from Dubai uh, yesterday, so obviously he started today. Uh, Jude is away in Japan. He's back uh, on Thursday, so we're slowly getting our squad together now so we've obviously had a few missing over the first couple of games which has been uh, not ideal but you know uh, uh, this this step four football it, it happens at a lot of clubs you know players traveling um, getting the holidays in but uh, the, the pleasing thing is for me is we've, we've got players that can step in uh, and do the job so uh, I thought today I thought first half we were probably the best we've been for a long time you know I think when we won the ball in good areas we were getting bodies forward we had chances uh, and defensively they didn't really cause us um, too many problems so I think overall in the conditions today with the heat. Uh, I thought the lads lasted well. Uh, we had to make some in-house changes, but I thought overall we completely deserved it. I think Kezzy's done well, having a slot in at that right back for the right <laughs> winger for two games now. That was so fortuitous that he was really there to step in so he could manoeuvre that back line quite easily. Yes, it's a new position for him, so I don't, I don't think he's particularly happy playing there because it's not his natural position, but you know, at the moment it's sort of getting us out of a, a little hole and, he, and he's done really, really well. He, he adds that attacking threat as well. He's happy to go forward and I think we have that balance when he does go forward and goes high. You know, The, the, the left back swings round, two centre halves swing over and we've got the two holding midfield players in there. So there's a nice um, balance there. So we are allowed to commit players forward because we know we've got the cover in behind. So, but he's been he's been excellent. You know, even as a, a right side winger, um, he's a young lad, but he's got lots and lots of potential. Do you think maybe Seven Oaks were guilty of overplaying in the wrong areas, and we capitalised on a couple of good chances, which Marco Haig's finish was fantastic. It's not to say Dates wasn't good either, but uh, do you think they were probably guilty of that? Yeah, well, the, the game plan was to, to let it, let them have it across the back four, uh, but when the ball went into uh, wide areas or central areas, we were going to pounce on it. And I think over the last couple of games, we've done really, really well doing that. You know, we've got players in there that can get about and disrupt, and uh, when we do win the ball back, you know, in, in the attacking half, uh, we've got, it's like the Red Arrow sometimes, we've got wingers coming in trying to get the ball, we've got a centre, centre forward that wants it, we've got two midfield players breaking, so they've always got a lot of option and the good thing today was there was some really good movement little balls in behind um, but that was all sort of part of the, the game plan before the game and I think it, it uh, the research we've done uh, definitely paid off today and uh, moving forward obviously we're in the hat on Monday for the next round of the FA Cup which is fantastic I mean if you had uh, well you know if you had uh, a chance to pick or not pick maybe want what would you want for the next round of this uh, FA Cup? Um, I'm not too sure, to be honest. I think I think we're not afraid of uh, anybody, that's for sure. I think um, before the game, we actually brought my medal in today, FA Cup medal in today, to show the lads. And uh, purely uh, on the fact that you know the further you go down the line on the FA Cup, the club gets more exposure, the players get more exposure, the cameras will be in the changing rooms, they'll be at the training grounds. So I think just trying to get the players to understand it's a, it's a big competition. I think for uh, non-league teams, it's a great opportunity to to one earn some uh, some good cash bonuses uh, for the club, uh, but also for players to wit their they put their wits against sort of potentially national league teams, um, step two sides, and I think it puts them in the shop window. So I think it's important, and I think they did it today. I thought they were really really good all over, entertaining. Um, but for me, it's a big competition. I'm, you know, I'm like to think you know we get a, a good draw the next time round, and um, we'll just take each game as it comes. I thought you were going to say a home draw straight away. A home draw would be good. To be fair. <laughs> I'll put that in for you. <laughs> home draw would be good for everyone at our football club. But, hey, you know, we but, move on. Now. But, but again, the support today was fantastic. You know, the crowd that's come down from Leatherhead, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's just nice. And the players really do appreciate the, the supporters coming down and supporting the team. It makes a, a big difference. You know, there's plenty of noise from the guys and uh, home and away. So uh, they've, been, they've been brilliant so far. There's 307 there. And I've got to say, we were, we were way yeah. at least half of that or more yeah, for yeah. sure. So the support came out and we've got a lot of people away on holiday, hence why I have to do a commentary today. So we've got plenty more to come and we've got to sort of uh, get them all down the grove for our next home game, which is next Saturday, home to Hartley Whitney. And then, of course, we're away to 
do I say at Westfield on Monday, 12.30 kickoff. I've got to put that in there. But fantastic. I've got to say thank you, Ian, um, for getting us through to the next round of the FA Cup and your management team and all the players. They really worked their butts off there today. So I applaud them. Thank you. Thank you. Right, we've got the young Marco Haig here, the goal scorer and decisive winner of our 2-0 win this afternoon in the FA Cup against Seven Oaks. Give us your thoughts. Is this the first FA Cup game you've played in or did you play for South Park in it? No, oh, yeah, this is my first game. Unfortunately, when I joined South Park, they were knocked out last season. So, yeah, it's my first game for in the FA Cup and I'm yeah happy to get a goal in it. And basically, we've signed you in the summer from South Park. Um, were you always looking to move on or was that something that Ian had scouted you or Pitts had scouted you to come to Liverpool? Yeah, obviously Pitts was at South Park last season and... You know, Leatherhead's my local club and I thought, yeah, you know, I'll come down to pre-season and I like, really enjoyed it, so I thought, yeah, let's give it a shot and come down. For those that don't know you, Marco, can you give us a little bit of a background about yourself? So, yeah, obviously last season I was at South Park. Yeah, I joined them in September and then played there for the rest of the season. I had an injury last season and I went on trial at Brentford and then the season before I was at Kingstonian under-18s for, for two seasons, so yeah. So you played under Nigel then, did you? Yeah, under Nigel, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good lad, Nigel. Yeah. And, you know, what's the first things that... You have, what, what have you particularly enjoyed about being at Leverett Football Club? What, what has made you think we're a little bit different to maybe the others? Uh, I love the fan base. Yeah, the fans are great. You know, they give good support. So, yeah, I'm enjoying the fans. Can I get you to dis describe your fantastic winner? Because they, one of the um, Seven Oaks committee men said it's got to be the goal of the round. So that says something about it. I was doing my... Uh, my uh, commentary and basically I was going mental can you just talk us through what happened for that goal yeah so there was just a drop down in the midfield I just yeah pounced on it and then I just saw the gap just yeah drove into the gap and then yeah let one fly and yeah went top in so yeah yeah it was a good one when they happen they happen yeah. when we uh, the draw is Monday any particular teams or what you would like uh, I quite like to play at home you know to be in front of the fans so yeah Hopefully a home fixture. Thank you, Marco. Hey, first no interview. <laughs>